Go ahead. Okay, okay Rachel, whenever Great. you're ready. Thank you so, so much. Hopefully you can see my screen okay. Yes. Um, so yeah, my name is Rachel Humphrey. Uh, I am from St. Cloud State, where I am the pro a professor of meteorology, as well as a planetarium director. Also, shout out to my amazing students, without whom this project never would have gotten off of the ground. Um, so for some background, I was invited to, um, uh, and encouraged to, participate uh, by Dr. Flatten, as well as Eric Agramson, um, to develop a team of SCSU students uh, to participate in the NEVP, and eventually we partnered up with a team from Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College, uh, which rounded out when combined with students from St. Catherine University, uh, the Minnesota Atmospheric Science Team. So upon receiving funding and learning more about what the project would entail, it was time to recruit students. So in terms of the SCSU team of students, um, it's an all women team of undergraduates. They are amazing. Um, and as you can see, they all were different um, academic standing in terms of their year, as well as uh, we had a lot of meteorology majors, but we also had some education uh, you know, background uh, in there as well, as well as hydro and so, um, it, the the as you can see on the screen there, um, we do have a couple of students who are seniors as well, and thankfully they have agreed to come back for the 2024 launch, which is awesome. Um, and so recruitment was done mainly by word of mouth. I had worked with all of these amazing women, um, but uh, anybody else was uh, uh, able to join up as well. But it just ended up being these six amazing people. Um, so with students. Uh, having all different stages in their uh, academic paths and backgrounds, um, we had a lot of um, opportunity to learn from each other. And um, that really, really helped with learning the new material. And so I have a couple of quotes there on the screen that you can uh, read. It really, really helped to boost confidence because everybody was learning together. Um, in terms of preparing for field work, because everybody had different prior knowledge, uh, we engaged in lots of training. And so this helped to keep things running smoothly or as smoothly as possible um, during the deployments. Um, so this included the semester long course and we did a lot of uh, practice with uh, uh, hands-on equipment, um, and we even included lessons on first aid and CPR too, since we were going to be engaging in field work. Um, ultimately, thanks to um, Eric for uh, arranging our lodging and everything like that in Socorro, New Mexico, um, the entire Minnesota uh, Atmospheric Science team launched 30 distinct launches from Socorro, New Mexico. There a couple of minor hiccups during some of them, but uh, for the most part, the SCSU launches were successful. And so here on the screen, you can see a sounding with some sample data of temperature, dew point humidity, um, and this particular launch got up uh, over 32,000 feet, almost 33,000, excuse me, 33,000 33, kilometers. Sorry about that. Um, now, I know that we're going to be seeing a lot of really cool data and a lot of really cool pictures and, you know, eclipse pictures and things like that. But um, I've included these pictures because a big part of being out there was giving students the opportunity to get that experience with the hands-on um, launches, um, as well as do a lot of outreach activities. And so the outreach um, after Socorro, as well as in Socorro, has really been phenomenal for us. Um, we've delivered numerous presentations to over 500 visitors to the campus planetarium, um, other student organizations and classes as well. And we've given away over 3000 Eclipse classes to educators all over the state. Um, and so they've been able to share their experiences, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna be taking lots of lessons uh, with us into the field, like sleeping is important um, and keeping up with that training. And so, and I guess in conclusion, um, before our time runs out, I do wanna acknowledge the rest of the Minnesota team. So uh, students and PIs from St. Catherine University, as well as Fond du Lac Tribal Community College. And I will leave you with the final thoughts from Reggie. Um, lots of really great feelings about this. So thank you again for the opportunity. Thank, thank you, you for Rachel. your time. All right. Okay.